Hi, and welcome to our video tutorial on how to set up your drum set ergonomically. I'm going to show you how to position the components of a standard drum set in a way that allows you to maintain a healthy and comfortable posture, and lets you reach all drums and cymbals easily. I'm also going to show you the correct assembly of the hardware, which can be confusing to a beginner. Have fun! To make sure that they don't move, you should set up your drums on a rug. At the very least, it should be large enough for the throne, the bass drum and the hi-hat. Let's begin with the throne. Adjust the height so that your thighs are angled slightly downward. It is best to sit at the front edge of the throne, so your legs can move freely. You should also make sure to keep your back straight. The snare drum is placed on the basket of the snare stand and fastened with a screw on the bottom. Don't over tighten the screw, as it could choke the sound of the drum. Make sure that the claws of the basket don't block the strainer. Place the snare drum between your knees. To find the right distance, let your elbows hang loosely on the sides of your upper body. The tips of your drumsticks should then be in the center of the drum. Adjust the height and tilt angle so the stick hits the drum in a shallow angle without touching the rim. Make sure you can also play rim shots and rim clicks comfortably. Assembling the hi-hat can be a bit tricky, especially the first time around. First, set up the bottom part so that all three legs and the base of the pedal rest firmly on the floor. Then screw the thin metal rod into the threaded section on the inside of the lower tube, slide the upper tube over it, and tighten it. The bottom symbol is placed on the large felt pad. The top symbol must be fastened in the clutch. Remove the screw on the bottom and one of the two felt pads, and insert the threaded end into the symbol. Then put the felt pad and screw back on, and tighten the screw. You can adjust how firmly the cymbal is held in place with the two counter nuts on top. It should be able to move slightly. When setting up the bass drum, make sure that the two legs point to the front. Adjust them so that the front of the drum sits about two or three fingers wide above the ground and use the pointed ends to keep the drum from sliding. The bass drum and the hi-hat should be positioned so that your feet are aligned with your thighs when you place them on the pedals. Your feet should be slightly in front of your knees so you can move freely. Adjust the height of the hi-hat so you can play it with the tip of the drumstick as well as with the shaft. At the same time, it should be high enough that your hands don't clash. Now let's talk about the toms. As with the snare drum, the stroke angle should be as shallow as possible, without the sticks touching the rims. If the angle is too steep, you lose energy and risk dents in the drum heads. Once you've found a good position, you can use memory locks to easily return to the same setting next time around. To ensure that your cymbals last a long time, your cymbal stands should have two felt pads and a protective sleeve on the threads. Don't over tighten the cymbals so they can vibrate freely. The right cymbal is played on the body with the tip of the stick and on the bell with the shoulder of the stick. Make sure that you can easily reach both positions without having to extend your arm too far. The crash cymbal is most commonly played on the edge with the shoulder of the stick. The angle of attack should be as shallow as possible, so the cymbal can give in to the stroke. A steep angle can lead to cracks in the edge. Finally, you should set up your drums in a way that lets you reach everything comfortably, so you can make it through long rehearsals and gigs without stress and fatigue. There are no set rules on how a drum kit should be set up, 
and your setup will probably change a few times over the course of your drumming career. And that's a good thing. Use this tutorial as a guideline on what to watch out for, let yourself be inspired by other setups, and, most importantly, get creative yourself.